Well, if you're thinking I've seen this horse before, you're right. <laughs> it's the horse I uh, created on the two disc uh, instructional DVD set that I produced called uh, Creating a Horse from Scratch. And I show how to make the armature and go through the whole process of uh, creating the skeletal structure and uh, putting the muscles on the uh, horse in the videos. The first disc was uh, just going up to the muscles, or actually creating a skeletal structure, and then the muscles uh, was on disc uh, two. And I think I included a uh, vi video on uh, the foundry at the end of the uh, DVD. But anyway, that's uh, just reviewing some history. I'm going to be putting an, uh, a Native American on this horse. Um, I've worked out the uh, size of the Native American. Uh, this is the uh, size I came up with. The uh, there are several ways of just uh, of doing the uh, proportions of a human to a horse. That that worked out. I have a publishing program that I was able to resize this thing until I had it to the size that I wanted. Then I've got the depth of the uh, rib cage, the width of the rib, rib cage, and the height and all the proportions. Now, I'll show you how to do this even without this. Uh, so, uh, let me get that started right now and uh, I'll be right back. What you'll need for this uh, next step is a wire cutter, a pair of scissors, that's to cut uh, the tape, and you'll need electrician's tape. I use electrician's tape. You can probably use some kind of putty that hardens, but I use electrician's tape. Uh, a ruler, and I use a uh, architectural ruler I got in high school. I still, I still have it. Uh, a magic mark. First, let's work out the proportions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a straight line for the uh, armature. One inch head length. And I'm going to start right there. That's uh, one third the length of the uh, horse's head that uh, I created. That. So we now, got one head. These are all general. You can change it as you're sculpting if you feel less comfortable with it that long. Um, but generally the figure should work out to be seven and a half heads to eight heads tall. That's the so ideal. That should give you uh, a good uh, start for your armature. And uh, let's go ahead and so get started. So I'm going to use that. the drawing or the the uh, computer. Uh, drawing that I got off the, off the uh, Google search, and uh, I'm going to go down. All right, I've made the a center. the armature, and in, uh, in the uh, video, and I showed how to do that, and I've shown all the uh, uh, technical things you need to do to make it look like a human armature. This one's made for a male, a female figure uh, will be a little bit different, and I'm thinking about adding a female to this uh, horse piece. I just haven't worked that out yet. I'm going to figure it all out. So that's the video for today. I've just shown you a couple of segments of what I did today and uh, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, if you want to see the whole thing, uh, you'll have to purchase the uh, DVDs that I'm going to be putting together on creating both the armature and then the figures. All right. Next time, give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.